Hey there, fellow TIs. Just wanted to share a quick story. So, you see that guy on the screen? Just some random guy that I found on the internet. But the reason I chose him is because, as you guessed, because of his eyeballs. My supervisor that I have right now has eyeballs just like that. And here we go. So when I first got hired for this job, it was during COVID. And my first year of work, or almost a full year of work, was uh, telework. But then when we started to come back into the office, well, I saw my supervisor more often. And what I want to share is something that he would do. And that is, he would stare at my crotch. Ladies, let me just say, I can sympathize with you now. For how it feels when a man is gawking at you. You know what I'm saying? I just, you feel so dirty and just nasty and like, and like a, like meat. You feel like a piece of meat. It's gross. Um, all I can share about him is that he is of uh, the opposite of straight. And I have nothing against that orientation. Just respect my space, respect my personal boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Everything's cool. The minute you cross any of those, uh, I lose respect for you. I lose respect for you, and that's all there is to it. But besides that, my supervisor, um, he's an enabler. He lets my other coworker get away with so much. Um, even time fraud. I mean, even himself, I'm almost pretty sure, is guilty of time fraud. The guy's a damn sellout. He's a pushover. Um, he's extremely narcissistic. He's a delusional dude, for sure. But uh, that's all I really got to share today about this this uh, supervisor that I got right now. Um, besides that, all I know is I think karma is starting to uh, finally pay a visit to people, ho hopefully. Um, what I want to share real quick, and I'll just go ahead and latch it on to this story, uh, is that my uh, other coworker who... Um, I've had issues with, well, the main issue with here at this job. Um, he's been out of work since June, okay? And he's still not back to work yet. Now, the story is that he has some issues going on with his colon, and that's why he hasn't been at work. And to further add to that, apparently his father... Uh, passed away sort of young from uh, colon cancer. Now, if my coworker is having issues and like that and whatnot, then I got to say it's karma, plain and simple. Karma coming back at him because that guy's done a lot over here to me and gotten away with so much. But um, let's just say it's not. Let's say he's perfectly healthy and he's fine. Well, then here's what I suspect. The guy's already due for retirement, okay? He might have already had enough with me because I don't back down and I'm not going to let him push me around. And there's been so many times that he's gone to my supervisor and my supervisor's had to have these little talks with me. But I'm not the one in the wrong, you know? It's, it's, it's the coworker. And he's also a little narcissistic, delusional little little uh, demon. But um, it's like they all cover for each other. But anyways, 
the main thing I'm getting at is this. Let's say nothing's wrong with him. Well, then that means he went to his doctor and worked out a little deal or something with his doctor so his doctor could give him a note tell you know to say that he has some colon issues which would thus enable him to cash out all of his sick leave because if you retire and you have a lot of sick leave you cannot cash out your sick leave you can only cash out your your uh, vacation leave that's it but how convenient huh that right now he's uh, supposedly sick and cashing out right now all of his sick leave so if so if the day comes that when he comes back to work he puts in for retirement immediately I'm almost certain that that's exactly what he did and if that's what he did then that would be considered fraud plain and simple and that means his doctor's not ethical nor honest or have any integrity I already know my supervisor and my coworker have none of that. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to share real quick. But y'all take care. Y'all have a godly day and be well.